What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Our Streamers Cheaters. Today we're going to be taking a dive into the Matrix. Well, this guy's YouTube channel is called Matrix, which is a spin-off of Matrix. So we're going to be taking a look at his channel today at some of the content that he puts out. If you do enjoy the video guys, be sure to hit that thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. And don't forget, guys, follow me on Twitter at BadBoyBeam, and it's the best place for you guys to contact me about any streamers, no matter how big or small, if you believe they are cheating. Right, let's crack on with the video. Okay, so after quite a few of you have messaged me about Matrix Gaming, I decided to come and take a look at the channel. It's not our usual go-to, however, this is his YouTube channel. He's got 18.1k subscribers, his YouTube partner. You can tell that by the fact he's got the blue join button there, and he seems to be doing okay. Video views, 5K, 4K, 5K, 4K, 26K, and so on, okay? But taking a look at what his videos are about, they are glitch videos. I've never had a problem with glitch videos, honestly. I put quite a few out myself, but it's more so to let you guys know how broken the game is. Now, if this guy is teaching you how to do them, that's wrong. But again, you will only find out somewhere else anyway. And truly, I believe without these type of channels, without people actually acknowledging that the glitches exist and without people actually putting them out there, making them mainstream, I don't think Activision or Ravensoft would even know about them to actually patch them anyway. So yes, it is a nightmare that the glitches do happen. Yes, it is a nightmare when it's you versus another team and that team sat on the stadium and you lose and you could have won. Okay, it is annoying. But for that to happen, that's the process that Raven and Activision have to take. To then patch it although i personally believe that they shouldn't put out a broken game their game that they put out should be 100 percent tested and working but it's not it never is and every update seems to bring more problems however this video here cold war camos to modern warfare modern warfare camos to cold war we're going to take a look at this video now and see exactly what's going on we can copy all your multiplayer camos from cold war to modern warfare and from modern warfare to cold war to use on Warzone or multiplayer uh, Modern Warfare or even Ground War. We've opened up a service for you guys so you can copy your craziest camos to uh, the Modern Warfare guns from Cold War or the other way around. Let's waste no more time and let's get into it. It's a really crazy thing and uh, you can definitely show off to your friends or just in random lobbies. You can do this on Warzone Plunder, you can do this on Battle Royale. Again, guys, this seems that another person is trying to profit from a glitch or an issue with the game, and it's just as bad as people selling cheats, okay? So if you go and get yourself a Damascus Krig or a Dark Matter Kilo, it's just not good, and it's only going to cause issues for your account. If it doesn't cause issues, you know, fair enough, but the chances of being banned because of this are a lot higher than not doing it at all. So you've got people out there like this trying to sell these camos, they don't care if your account gets banned. They don't. All they care about is the money that they're making from doing it. Rage hackers use these type of unlock tools, okay? So they'll get a new account. They'll unlock all the camos for all the guns. Rage for the day. And then get banned. And then do the same again. Repeat, repeat, repeat. And the reason they're getting banned is probably because they're using aim bottom wall hacks. Uh, a high level with headshots only and so on. But the fact is, if you use a camo unlock tool you will end up getting banned. They actually detected one a while back and it was one of the ban waves. I think it was a 15,000 ban wave at the time and that was caused by a detection of an unlock all tool. Okay, so keep that in mind. If you ever do decide that you want to get these camos for the opposite guns, it's not worth it, okay? But this guy has got a full video demonstrating how to or what the guns look like. So even this, and yeah, it probably looks cool for about five minutes and then it's boring. Okay, so you've got a dark matter car 98. So what? Does it matter what it looks like? It's about how you hit your shots. Just remember that, guys. So yeah, this Matrix Gaming is promoting how to unlock camos for guns that shouldn't be allowed. So that is messing with the game. That's messing with the code in the game. How are you not going to get banned for that? It's a risk I certainly won't be taking, and I hope none of you guys do either. Okay. What we're going to do now, we're going to take a look at his most popular videos. So this guy's been doing glitches for months. Months. Modern Warfare best glitches from one year ago. So this guy's been going for years. Or at least since Modern Warfare. Gas mask glitch. 
Christ, this is a channel full of it all. Absolutely full of all of it. I'm just having a little snoop through now because I want to see if this guy's actually cheating or not as well. God mode glitch, that's a zombies glitch, that's fine. And the reason I say that the zombie glitches are fine is because that has always been a massive part of Call of Duty Zombies. To find the glitches, to do the easter eggs and so on. That has always been a thing. The difference between the Call of Duty Zombie glitches and playing in Warzone with glitches is that you are not actually competing against other people in Call of Duty Zombies. It is essentially a one player game or a team player game, but you're not up against other people, okay? And any world records set with a glitch being used are not counted. They are discredited for that, and it is actually stated on the official Zombie World Record website. If you don't believe me, go and check it out. So yeah, Matrix isn't really cheating, not in the sense that we would normally go through with aimbot, wall hacks and so on. There's no sticky aim or anything like that. But this guy is promoting every single one of the glitches on his channel. And I'd suggest staying away from them. People have been known to be getting seven day bans for actually being caught using the glitches. You know, when people have been getting seven day bans for using the L3 clan tag, and that again is a manipulation of the game. So for the seven day ban for using that clan tag, do you think it's going to be the same for manipulating the game to unlock camos for guns that shouldn't be allowed? I believe so. So if you want a seven day ban, go for it. If you want to get perma banned, go for it. If you don't want to take that chance and you don't want to take that risk, I suggest you stay away from them. Don't be doing anything that shouldn't be happening within the game. Stay legit, stay positive, and eventually, hopefully, the legitimate players will win. Well, there we have it, guys. Matrix isn't really our general cheater that we usually talk about, but the guy is promoting every single one of the glitches inside out, as well as the gun camos. And let me tell you this, right? Doing things like that within a game is only going to jeopardize your account. If you do that glitch where you actually get Cold War camos on your Modern Warfare guns or vice versa... The chances are you're messing with the game's coding and in the end your account will be banned. So I suggest you stay away from it and honestly this guy's channel to me is not that bad. I got asked to take a look at it so we did. But yes, the camo glitch, the camo unlock tools are really irritating. For the people out there who are spending hard earned money on these type of things and knowing that there are people out there who have been able to manipulate the game and unlock all camos as well as attachments reticles everything like that it's just irritating more than anything i hope you did enjoy this video guys if you did be sure to hit that thumbs up if you're new subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos if you want to support the channel further hit that blue join button today and become a member of the triple b fam and don't forget guys follow me on twitter at Bad boy beaming. Until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side. Put, put, put. Peace.